Welcome back everybody. So now we know a little bit more about the programming languages we are about to learn. We could do a whole series on the history of programming languages, but instead we are going to be focused on results and getting you to become a functional programmer as quickly as possible. Let's talk about computer programming basics. As we have discussed before, when you type in code, the computer reads it line by line and then compiles it. Compiling is when the computer reads a code and makes it into something usable. This can be a website, a program, or an app. So when you type in some HTML code, the web browser compiles the code and you now have a website for people to see. But what happens when you make a mistake? What happens when you misspell a word or put a comma in the wrong place? Well, the compiler won't know what to do with it and it will return an error. If the compiler returns an error, the website or program won't build. This may sound like the end of the world, but actually it is not. Lots of times when developers build apps or websites, there are lots of errors to fix. When you have an error in the code, you can go back and fix it. When you make a mistake, you can learn from them. Everybody makes mistakes, and it's important not to get frustrated when learning how to code. If you feel frustrated, just take a short break and try again later. Taking breaks is very important for the learning process. When you take a break, your brain has time to think over what it has just learned. This is very important for any kind of discipline that involves creating or creativity. Remember, the best programmers are both really technical and really creative. Well, that wraps up this tutorial for today. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.